Hello, 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 guys. We're back here. And we are going in with The Silent. Um, we lost last time playing The Silent. I think twice, I want to say. So we are going back into this one. Uh, trying to do it some good. I think we're going to take the 250 gold, head to the early shop, and define the run. Because if we get some good here, question mark, question mark, elite, rest, it's a good path. Good, good path. So we're going to see if we can get something by that point. I think last time we just had a lot of hard time defining the run. Um, that's what I feel. I haven't played, you know, a crazy amount of hours in this game. But I feel like it's hard. If you don't have, like, a defined run that, you know, you have an idea of what it's trying to do, it's hard to, uh, hard to win in this game. And there's some different archetypes, but if you have one that's not really anything, it's like, two halves of a hole, it doesn't really work. So we could, right from the start, go with either discard, discard, or poison. I think we're gonna take all out attack, just for the early AoE, uh, and it's a little bit of a discard. And I think we will take the special rare relic too. We'll take pain, but we also get warp tongs at the start of your turn, upgrade a random card in your hand for the rest of combat. So during longer fights, that could help a lot. And then we will immediately... Let's remove the pain first. Actually, well, let's look at the relics before we decide that. Um, Chemical X would be an interesting one. Uh, but it'd be like a hopeful interesting. Nothing else is really... Took them my fancy. I think we'll take a Sail Predator. Remove the pain. And... Is there a later shop? Yeah, we'll wait till a later shop to use the rest of the money. Nothing else is really sticking out to me. Because there's one if we go... We'll have to divert our path. But we'll get some more rest. But we won't get an elite. I think I'm fine with that. We're going really now just to uh, win. Not to uh, you know, win in a crazy fashion. So so we took Predator as our like big source of like heavy damage. Um, because the Silent, I think, struggles in damage. Even though they have some interesting mechanics... Okay, sneaky strike for discard. We're going with like a discard meta. Uh, struggles with damage because I think damage is more meant to be done with uh, poison and such. So getting some early like predator or I guess sneaky strike could work for it if you wanted, wanted it to be. Uh, pretty much you just need some early damage in my opinion to survive some of these hard hitting elites like uh, the gremlin knob. And Lagavulin. Ah, uh, prepared. Goes well with our sneaky strike. Even though it is card negative, it's still pretty good. Okay, I think, did we, have we went with a discard build before? A lot of poison here. Like, with what is here, I feel like they want to, would want to, we'd want to rotate to poison. But, Apotheosis is really good. So is, do we want to remove anything first? I think we'd rather take the Flash of Steel. Because the problem with discard is you need to draw back into stuff really quickly. Okay, so Flash of Steel first. The goal was to get the all-out attack, which we did not. So can we kill any of these? 14 damage. We've already discarded, so we'll get that back. And then I think we'll go ahead, pop you, and get the defense going. So that way their curl-up is gone. We won't take any damage, and we can actually focus on them this turn. All out attack. Ah, oh, discarded the wrong card. Sad, but it's okay. Still taking no damage. Yeah, I think the silence a little more punishing because you're used to the ironclad tactician. Uh, let me read that really quick. Unplayable. If this card is discarded from your hand, gain an energy. Uh, the ironclad is a little more forgiving because he lets you heal. Ornamental fan. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. So that s six healing every turn, I think, means a lot in the long run. Okay, so how would we play this? We have no discard, so Tactician doesn't come good. I think you just go Apotheosis Strike. That way all the cards are upgraded. He wasn't attacking. One heavy-handed turn, like this one. I think we want to play Strike, Strike, then the all out attack. Got four block. Still taking a little bit, but I think it'll make for a better split. And then discard both these two. Flash of Steel. 
strike, neutralize, all out attack. He's down to 11, so he'll split into two 11 energy enemies, or well, 11 health. Again, a bad draw for the tactician, but it will matter. I'm trying to think, because you can kill one with 14 and leave, either way you're going to leave one. If I do it this way, at least we block. We'll take two. Only, we're, we're like one discard card short of having something working. Um, Dagger Spray, just for a little more AoE. For, I think, floors two and three are a little harder with that. So, definitely the upgrade on the Apotheosis. And now we just need to have a faster cycle to get back to it. Backflip some draw. Uh, can, oh, we can't even take it. We can't take nothing here. I forgot we used up all our money on that random shop. Hill 15? Yeah. They'll keep us uh, from having... To, we can upgrade again here instead of resting. Alright. Neutralize. All attack. Whew. Okay. Bam. Bam. Good turn. Good turn. Almost took him out. We could have used a block potion, I guess, but... I'm not too worried about it. I think it might come in handy later. Acrobatics, a little bit more discard in the deck. And then we will smith. Um, I think we'll smith acrobatics first. Because the goal would be to draw all the way across the deck into Apotheosis before, you know, having to worry about it. Like, before playing anything else, which we have not this time. Discard's done. Sneaky strike. Then all out attack. Oh, should have done dagger throw first. That was the goal, was to play dagger throw and sneaky strike and all out attack. So, apotheosis. That's what we'd want. Draw a card. What do I want to play? I think we will play the two strike. Well, it's prepared. Yeah, we got the neutralize. So we could play two strikes and neutralize. Yeah. What we'd want. So he's going to do his big attack this turn, and we need to deal 8 damage to him to split him. Of course, another... We could... I think we're going to rotate around. I think what we'll do is we'll do this plus this, take no damage, and get a better split. Because that wouldn't have been too good. Dagger spray along with this would be 12 plus 9. I still think we wait another turn. We could do... Because that would split... These would both split him. I think we'll give it one more rotate around. Okay, now we can really tailor the hand. Drop these two. Okay, that makes Sneaky Strike free. Let's make him vulnerable and really try to do some damage. First things first, Flash of Steel. There we go. And bam. Now, there are going to be two enemies that are 22 health. We've got this in the bag. Get all that draw. Drop the slime. Um, all out attack, neutralize, flash of steel, punch him. In the bag, easy, good. Sneaky strike, dagger spray. That was a very clean fight, worked out very well for us. Uh, tools of the trade, yeah, that's what we want. That one extra draw and one discard. Um, we don't need a smith, we have apotheosis, so... It's exactly what we'd want. Extra energy. This is a good, good, good go. Extra energy. Extra damage. Um, I don't really want the shop first. So I think we're going to go up to this elite. A couple more fights, but all in all, I think it'll be better. Drop Tactician. I don't know why, because we have no damage in this hand. Okay, we want to drop... The defend. Let's really, really get all this out here. Apotheosis. Flash of steel. Do you predator? Or do you... Well, we don't have no blocks. Because we dropped our block. So, do the predator. Could have got, I guess, one, like, four block. But, it's fine. We will drop... Um, the normal strike. So, draw. And the question is... What else do we want to do? Do we think we can kill him? Four energy, so we can do 20. It'd be close. It'd be real close. I think we can, though. 
Strike does 9. All out attack does 14. Yeah. We've got them. Nice. Um, slice. Just because we got a lot of draw. We can draw into it and play it for free. Instead of worrying too, too much about what we got going on. Tools of the trade. Survivor to discard. Um, defend, I think. Then we're going to sneaky strike. And... Let's acrobatics first. Yes, cool. Nice. I wanted just a little bit more... Uh, damage there was kind of what I was looking for. Put two of them on the ground. We got 20 to, uh, block, which I didn't even realize we had that much. And we are continuing farther into this. This could have been a really bad fight for us. Uh, it, like, in all, all honesty. Blah, 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 blah. Just because the amount of enemies that are, like, on the board. We're pre we have pretty strong AoE, but nothing, like, monumental. I think we have, what, Dagger Spray and All Out Attack. So strikes, that gone. So we're going to try to draw into our AoE. We didn't, but we drew into Tactician. Oh, we have to discard two. There we go. Flash of Steel. We shouldn't have kept Survivor, honestly. Bad, bad move. And he's gone now. So these two are going to jump back into flying mode. But we should, yeah, all out attack right there. Bam. Dead. Okay, another sneaky strike. Yeah, it works fine. Remove a card from the deck. Will be strike. Normal strikes aren't that good, great for us. Normal defends aren't bad. Curse of shame. We'll take it. So, gain 30 gold. You're 10% to find... 10% more likely to find treasure in a question mark room. And that is tiny chest. Alright, so if this fight goes real bad, we can avoid the elite. But hopefully it goes real good. Neutralize. All out attack. Didn't drop the predator. Very, very thankful for that. And then... Yeah. Fully blocked up. Dealt some damage across the board. Might have been better to focus on the cultist, but... Shouldn't matter too much. Let's fill up the hand. Drop the tactician. And tools of the trade. Sneaky strike. Got the damage back. That prepared away the shame. Got a pretty good amount of, like, cultivation of the hand. Which is pretty nice. Oh, we're so close to killing you. One damage away. Okay. So there's the apotheosis, which I wish we would have got a little earlier, but... It's fine. Okay. We've discarded, so sneaky strike first. Normal strike. Predator. Did not get a lot of block that turn, unfortunately, so he hits us for a lot. But he's done. Uh, outmaneuver? No. I don't think any of these. Closest was dodge and roll, I think. Outmaneuver would have been interesting, but... I don't think it's really what we want. Again, another bad, bad draw. Like, this is not what we want in an opening hand for this deck. So that's what we could have done. We could have defended some more, but... I, I'd rather take the pain in hopes of getting a better draw, which, of course we didn't. Okay. Come on. Oh, there's Apotheosis. There's Tactician. Nice. Okay. Apotheosis. Defend. And I want him dead, so. Some damage off the board. So we're gonna take none now. And this fight just turned around with quick plays like that. Okay. Um. Strike. Defend. Defend. The goal will be to end this fight now. Tools of the trade. Dagger spray. Flash of steel. Strike, all out attack. Nice. Omamori, negate the next two curses you obtain. Nice. Into potion. Um, backstab. I think just that extra damage on the first turn will be good. It does, like, mess up a little bit of our draw on the first turn, but we already draw two additional cards at the start of combat. So I don't think it's enough to mess anything up too bad. Apotheosis, backstab right there. So all out attack, drop the sneaky strike, unfortunately. But that's the only discard we had anyway, so. 
And I think by, based on the numbers I was just counting, it looked like uh, it wouldn't have mattered. So, good tactician will turn. I mean, uh, prepare turn. Not the best because all our cards cost a, uh, a million, but like both of our defend cost a ton. I guess we could have negated it with the ancient potion, but it's fine. Um, the two cost defend, I guess, is going to be the one that's gone. Neutralize, dagger spray, big draw. Okay, there we go. This will give us two energy back, which is kind of nice. Um, we're still taking damage, so we want to drop stuff we can't play. Okay, locked up. Only need to do 30 more, but our HP is starting to really suffer. Not going to play that. Prepared. Strike. Oh, it's so sad. Okay, one more attack. You're done. Should I guess I should have dropped the Tactician, but it's fine. Uh... Could do another that backstab. I think another acrobatics though. Pretty good for us. I think we'll rest. We're getting up in the up in the floors and it can get kind of dangerous. Shuriken, every time we play three attacks, gain a point of strength. Really good for us. We're kind of shuffling through attacks pretty quickly. Ooh, what do we do here? Oh well, we lose 32 max HP but gain five apparitions, which is intangible. Um which it's real good. I think we'll take it. It's going to be very painful, but now our max HP is equal to our current HP. So it's not that big of a deal, I guess. In all honesty, that would be modifying hand really good, but can't afford it. Another tactician, though. And then I think we'll just remove something we don't want to grab. We want to make sure every time we discard that it's something worth discarding. So should be pretty good. Yeah, tactician. So, Apparition. They are ethereal, so they exhaust at the end of my turn if I don't play it. And intangible. All damage taken, uh, HP loss to 1. So, in, he's doing 12 right now. No, he's doing 1 by 2. Okay, so what we want to do... I think we'll kill him first. So, Acrobatics. Drop the Tactician. Prepared. Drop the Shade and... It, oh, we want to drop the Shame, I think. And play out the, intang the Apparitions. So, yeah. Play that still taking damage I don't want to so we'll keep the you know the extra draw and stuff should be fine tools of the trade a good one here strike defend defend so we're gonna lose our intangible but hopefully this will keep us from taking a bunch of like dumb damage acrobatics get some stuff and since we've the like the big big thing is since we've upgraded them uh, with uh, Apotheosis, they will not, ex uh, they're not ethereal, so they will not exhaust each turn, which is really good for us. So we have, we need to end this fight, like, now, because of the fact that um, we're running through our apparitions really quickly. We're going to do this. Oh, drop both those two. We we have one more turn, I think, because if he hits us, hits us, we'd be hurting. So now that we we're drawing through our deck really quickly, um, but we need a more effective way to really deal damage, because we're using a mixture of the predators and the sneaky strikes. But when we don't have them, we just don't have damage really. So maybe some more like slices would be good, because we're drawing through it so quick. I think it'll help a lot. Okay. We want to prepare it first. Drop the shame. Flash is still him. Sneaky strike. I think the wizard, just in case. I want him off the field. Because he will charge up and do a big attack. So Gremlin Leader might summon this turn, or he's going to attack one of the two. He's going to summon again. All right. Now we're kind of up in business. We got our, our like, draw and discard engine in place. So we want to discard the hard one, normal strike. Get all this up here, there we go. Tactician, apparition. So we'll keep him, so I think we're gonna let the AOE kill like the, the runt and just focus on the gremlin leader. Makes the most sense to me. Drop this, do this. I think we're gonna fill up the hand too much. Drop another tactician. 
Oh, yeah. See, this is kind of the goal of what we're doing. Keep drawing through. Okay, we don't really... I should have dropped a defend, probably. But it's not going to matter. Because he's dead. Took one damage. Whenever you play three or less cards during turn, draw three additional cards and start your next turn. Not that great. Ghost in the Dar. Pretty much what we have with Apparitions. Another Tactician. Nice. Um, I think we'll remove a card. I think we'll remove a strike. They're not really, like, we're not dealing a lot of damage, but it's still pretty good. Forgot we couldn't smith anymore. Acrobatics. So the goal is to get to that apotheosis. Okay, we need to, we'll play out the backstab. A little bit of extra damage isn't that important. There we go. Defend gone. Now let's start actually doing the stuff we care about. Oh, I shouldn't have played that. That was, that was a dumb move. Should have done some more damage to him. Okay. Tools of the trade. We're going to Survivor, the Tactician. Now Sneaky Strike will actually work. Tangible. And Defend. So we're not taking any damage yet. Pretty good. Um, yeah. So here's going to be the main problem. I'm going to put these apparitions back in the deck for now. Uh, in lieu of drawing something that's going to do more damage outright. And then keep him taking the damage. Because, yeah, these guys are just going to die. We're getting enough block from just Ornamental Fan in general to keep it nice. Here's the problem. We didn't draw anything that turn to kill him. So... We need to actually play defense, which is not bad. The The goal would have been to draw something that would have let us refresh our hands. Like, prepared. Okay, so, apparition, flash of steel, prepared, tactician, and that. Keep these two. Um, I don't think I care about him yet. I still think he's going to die. And we're slowly gaining strength. And not dex, just strength. Couldn't remember what all we had. So two more. Problem is now we have no... We didn't get no draw this turn. So I am going to slice him and kill him. And we actually came out with 18, which is not bad. If we really wanted to prevent it, we could have took our ghost in the drawer. But I'm not looking to perfect these fights. I'm just looking to uh, complete them currently. This was a daily or something. Maybe we'd, we'd talk about it, but it's not incredibly important. Some more acrobatics again. Drop the shame. Yeah, definitely need to look at on the next floor. Grabbing some more damage though, because we're we're cycling a lot, but a little too much. Like that was a ten turn cycle. Now what'll hurt is if we get time eater. And we're about to find out, because I think he will. Uh, make us cry. A whole bunch. Another tools of the trade? Sure. Okay. Oh, I do not want to skip the chest. Uh, Philosopher Stone. Just more energy. The more energy we have, the more we can cycle. Time Eater. Okay, we definitely need to do a bit of a pivot. So, we're going to go... We need to get some damage in here that doesn't 100% rely on us cycling. Because currently, everything we do relies on this cycle. And while the cycle is good, um, he'll just shut down our turns. So, we need to find some more just damage dealing cards. We're going to go to this first shop. If there's nothing, we'll go to the next shop. Drop the daze. All attack, apparition, strike him. I was kind of afraid we would see Time Man, and we did. I didn't kill him. I don't want to take any damage from his explosion. And he, he mostly only puts dazes in. He's not one to really attack. I think we got enough damage here just to outright kill him. Alright. Mm, flying me, I guess. Oh, we need to go here first. Uh, yeah. Fight a boss rack one. Okay, so, prepared. 
Drop the... Drop the apparition. We don't need to waste it yet. The goal is to get... Uh, was to get Apotheosis. But since we have not, we're just gonna punch the shit out of this dude with our slices. Might as well play that. Because it's gonna get exhausted anyway, so. Okay, we did get Apotheosis. We really got nothing else. <laughs> so. But, we got two Aberrations, so. Damage he would done means nothing. Now we are talking with uh, rotation. Doing good, good damage. Just gotta keep it up. All right, now tools of the trade. Okay, yeah, if we can get through here without taking any damage, that would be really swell. Okay, so we have a lot of hand, like manipulation, which is nice. It's kind of what we were going for. I'm going to keep putting the Apparations back in the deck until we need them. Because I know I'm going to have to play out these defends anyway. So why not just keep the Apparations until they become necessary. It's kind of a, part of the idea of having uh, two of these tools of the trades going at once. Is you can really curate the hand to what you want. Alright, yeah, no damage. Mingle, 14 max HP. It's good because we didn't have no max HP really. And I think I'm going to keep going with some of these flying knees. It's extra energy in, a, in a, like a weird way. Another Tools of the Trade is, is probably too much. Ooh. Or is it? Abacus? Oh, we can't take it now. Sneaky Strike. Yeah. Why don't I take anything else? Uh, Abacus because every time you shuffle your discard, gain six block. And we shuffle a lot because we go through a lot. Um, Defend. We have enough to defend with our apparition, so. Another freaking shop. Um. <clears throat> I don't think. Like, yeah, I don't think we need to add anything else, really. It could just clutter up what we have going on. Because we're already at a 35 card deck, which is probably way too much. If we're being Johnist. I think you backstab. Survivor, the tactician. And then get all your apparitions. Oh, well, we just played with the whole hand. But get all the apparitions just because if not, you're going to lose them. Okay. See, this is not a good hand. And while this deck does go off and we can start curating the hand, uh, we need to be able to do such a thing. So we don't really need both to defend. Confirm. I'll take the one damage if I can just lay into this dude. I'm fine with that. Actually, we got the stuff anyway from the fan. Apparition not needed, and definitely throw away the burn. So the Apotheosis has taken its sweet, sweet time to get here. Didn't matter. He's dead. Which I like to see, because it's a little worried that he wouldn't be. Another sticky strike. We're doing something. I don't know what it is, but it's something. Um, Yeah, we need to go for this elite. The rest doesn't really help us. So, Pippa Crane, enemies that have weak, deal 40% less damage rather than 25. Okay. <clears throat> All the attacks pretty good. I think I'm just going to really hammer onto the stupid sphere. Just because I don't want to deal with it. And these guys will die to AoE, is what I'm kind of, kind of thinking. Acrobatics drops the shame. Apparition. Sneaky strike. Keep this guy dying slightly. <clears throat> Acrobatics. Tactician gun. Tools to trade up. Slice. Strike. Defend. Almost there. Breaking through his armor. Is no easy task. Usually it's done over a slower manner, but it's fine. How he dies doesn't matter as long as he dies. All right, kill the repulsor and play that. So three extra turn cards a turn, 
And we can just drop, yeah, like, look at this. Oh, only two? Let's, yeah. Drop two tacticians. And then three sneaky strikes. Like, ooh. I didn't realize it was going to hurt us so much. Drop the artifacting, take the region. Um, it's enemy's weak. Do we really? I think I'll go with the predator. More draw. Like, why not? All right, he could be a problem. We really <clears throat> needed a good turn one, because he's gonna become intangible, like we do. So we're gonna have to really block. Yeah, I, I could really have used like some draw. So, yeah, maybe when I, when we get potions, we should keep that in mind. Oh, you're kidding me. Where's our apotheosis? We get so much stuff, but none of the stuff we want. Okay. Jaboop. Another one of those. Drop the apparition. Just play one of them just before we mess up. Throw that back. Still nothing. Sneaky strikes are really good right now, but kind of unnecessary. Oh, there it is. Nice. Guess I should have waited like a second longer when I was uh, playing my cards and played my draw first. It's okay. Sometimes you have to curate. Another one of these. And now we can really wail on him with these. I think we're good now. We got all our setup done. Apothe Once we get Apotheosis out, we're good. But there's a lot of, lot, a lot of setup that we have to do to get that to that point. Also, I think if we didn't have all these apparitions, we'd be a little screwzered. Okay, we gotta discard two more burns. This is a good one. We need the apparition, so we'll drop the block. Okay. Should do the sneakies first. Then the rest will play in the normal order. And we're getting a, like a sizable amount of strength. Oh yeah. Uh, we need the apparition, tactician, and burn. Like it's almost a little too much to be like playing out. But it's not. It, it works in its own weird way. Bag of, bag of prep. Start combat. Draw two additional cards. Which is good to try to get that stupid apparition. Not apparition. Apotheosis. A little bit more draw. Uh, I think we'll go... It doesn't matter really. I guess we'll go this way first. Yeah, we'll fight for that rare relic. These guys sh shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay. So how do we go about... Can we discard anything to start with? We can't. That kind of sucks. So which one of these will we play? Um, we play. We need to play two attacks. So the additional draw will be really good next turn. Sneaky strike, just to play it. I would play another Tools of the Trade, but I think I'd rather get the front loaded damage out, since that was a lot of our damage right there. Uh, we'll drop this apparition. We will play one of them. Also go draw through a lot. Tactician. There we go. Still no apotheosis yet. Prep. Drop this. Still no apotheosis yet. But I think we will be fine. Damn with the burns. All out attack. Slice. Strike. Sneaky strike. And another strike. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, I feel like our apotheosis only comes from the bottom of the deck. It can exist nowhere else. Yeah, there it is. Look at you. Okay. Should have done something else so we didn't take the one damage. But we have the rest at the end anyway, so... It's not like it'll be that big of a problem. Oh, we only have... Only have one activated. What's a shame. Just got the other one anyway. Bam. Purple. Normally he's dropping additional card reward. Could be good. Because part of our idea was to pivot a little bit, so... But I think we'll have one, one more, so we'll get two cards. Dark Stone Parry up. Not that great. Whenever you obtain a curse, uh, increase your max HP by six. We shouldn't obtain any more curses. Okay, they all have one more strength. Potheosis, turn one. Look at you, doing what you need to do. But you know what we didn't get? Any apparition. So we really need to uh, kill some of this stuff. And I think we're going to curate it. So we, well, what would be the point of discarding the tactics? We can play everything. So we should just get our damage out. Oh, we shouldn't have attacked him. 
Could get some more damage on someone else. We are going to take a bunch this turn. But, again, we have the rest. So, I don't have to worry too much. We should play some of these defends out, though. Flying knee him. Flying knee him. Flash of steel. Oop. Oh, we don't have any more. No more HP. Tool of trade. Apparition. Um, can I kill you with the sneaky strike? Ow. Yeah, we shouldn't play anymore. Take the one. We're down 13. It's getting a little rough. If I have to say so myself. I need some defense to uh, make sure he doesn't hit me anymore. Drop that. Oh, we have to drop two. Drop those two. I know I just said I, I needed a defend. And in retrospect, I should have kept that defend. Um, cause if not, he's gonna, he's gonna punch me with his, his spiky spikes. 24, 22, I have to hit him twice. Sneaky strike, predator. 11. It's close. Eviscerate's really good for damage wise. Well laid plans, pretty good for us. We'll rest. So, we're at 24, not good. But we can go ahead and immediately oh, pop the regen. Potheosis, turn one. Drop the freaking shame. Oh, yes. Good. Good, good stuff. So we have one ghost in the jar for problem turns. I think we don't need either one of these. Five cards next turn. We got to really pick and choose because we can play ten cards in a turn. So we either need to play out all twelve that we can... Or play on nothing. Ghost in the jar turn. Predator. Sneaky strike. Defend. Oh, we're only at 10. I needed two more. Damn. So we get two cards this turn. One has to be an apparition. One has to be a tools of the trade. We'll take the one. Because we need to be able to drop these tacticians to really get our flow going. Okay, now, now we can start really playing. We're starting to get like what we need. So we need to play out 12 cards this turn if we can. And I think we'll be easily able to do such a thing. Uh, oh, no we can't. Oh wait, yes we can, yes we can. Two, three, perfect. Because we either need to play out all 12 or stop at like six. It's kind of how this party's working. Um, drop the defend. Oh, we have to drop two. Oh, I'd rather have the damage. Drop the well laid plans. Hurt us a little bit on that one, but we really needed the, uh, the damage out on him. Because at some point, I know he heals. Tactician, tactician, good. From it. Acrobatics. Tactician. We have 11 energy. Uh, so I don't think we'll play... We will play prepared to drop the two defends and get two attacks. Nice, nice, and nice. So we need to play more attacks to get more strength up. But I, I know we're running low on apparitions here. There's an eviscerate, which is pretty good. Um, defend. It's not attacking. Cost two less for each one discarded. Right? I discarded this turn. Important point, but it should only cost one. Oh yeah, defense gone. Oh crap. That's bad for me. Heal 27. And this is going to be a bad turn. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. So, we need another... Oh, with the freaking shame. What a shame, but it shouldn't matter. Because we have plenty of defense this turn. Luckily, we don't have a lot of defense in the deck, per se. But, we had enough that turn. We're going to be kind of close. We can play five cards. We need defense. We're not going to be playing this one. We won't neutralize, so we won't play this one, I think. So, neutralize them. Get them down to 24. Defend. Backflip. I think I'll go ahead and play the well laid plans, and then we will eviscerate. Two cards retain, all out attack strike. So, we're still going to take 10, which is not fun. However,. We should be good on this rotation, I think. 
I think I'm gonna drop the strike and the, the survivor. I just pretty much need damage. And since we're discarding, we're gonna draw into more. Drop the freaking all out attack. Another sneaky strike. Acrobatics again. I'm kind of trying to get back to, if I'm being honest, the eviscerate. Um, deck spray. Prepared, because eviscerate should do. Oh, I'll just keep this. A lot of damage to him. Sneaky strike. Acrobatics. Yeah, I can't get back to it. But we, we got enough here to do it anyway. Not bad. Time Eater was not a fun one to go up against with this. But we did it. Took a little bit of doing. 930. Not bad. And that is our first win with the Silent. So hopefully we will get an unlock right here. Yeah, new unlock. And we will be pretty close to the next one. Cloak and Dagger, Accuracy, Storm of Steel, all Shiv cards, all stuff I like. Shivs are one of my favorite things to do with the Silent. And that's kind of what we were looking at. Not bad. Champion, perfect. We, which one would be perfect? I don't know which one that was. Maybe the first one? Huh. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.